This is the installation video for Cello, a system that is most commonly used in bottom rolling wardrobe and cupboard door systems. Cello is capable of taking timber, timber framed and composite doors weighing up to 25 kilograms each. The kit. Top and bottom rails. Screw pack. Bottom rollers. Top guides. The tools. Drill. Tape measure. Screwdriver, manual or electric. Set square. Attaching the hardware. Firstly, we need to fit the hardware to the door. The bottom rollers are to be positioned 100 mm from each end of the door. Mark the two 100 mm positions with a pencil on the bottom of the door. Using a set square, draw a line on the face of the door that the bottom rollers are to be screwed to. This will help line up the roller's central screw hole onto the 100 mm positioning line. Position the hardware on the surface of the door and then using a pencil, mark out the position of the pilot holes for attaching the rollers. Drill the three pilot holes using the drill. Position the hardware over the three pilot holes and line the bottom of the roller plate with the bottom of the door. Using the electric or manual screwdriver, screw the bottom rollers into position using the screws provided in the screw pack. Attaching the guides. We now need to mark out the position for the top guides in a very similar way to the bottom rollers. They are to be fitted on the top surface of the door and directly above the rollers, 100 mm from the edge of the door. Drawing a straight line down the door using the set square to help position the guide and ensure that they are straight. Position the guide on the surface of the door and then using a pencil, mark out the position of the pilot holes for attaching the rollers. Drill the two pilot holes using the drill. Position the guide so the top of the guide body is level with the top of the door. Using the electric screwdriver, screw the bottom rollers into position using the screws provided in the screw pack. Attaching the top track. Position the top track into the desired position within the opening. Mark out for the pilot holes using the holes already punched in the rail as a template. From these positions, use the electric drill to make the screw pilot holes. Using the screws provided in the kit, attach the rail to the lintel. You can use an electric or a manual screwdriver to do this. Ensure that the head of the screw is completely flush with the rail. Attaching the bottom track. 
use a plumb line or a laser level to identify and mark the position of the bottom rail on the floor directly below the top rail. We recommend doing this at various points. This will ensure that when the doors are hung, they are vertical, as the top and bottom rail will be in line with each other. Then fit the bottom track. Again, ensuring the screw heads are flat with the surface of the track. Fitting the second set of rails. We now need to fit the second set of tracks to the lintel and to the floor for the second door. This should be set out as door thickness plus 19 millimeters from the first set of tracks. The second pair of tracks are to run parallel to the first set of tracks. Instead of using a plumb line or laser level, you can use a tape measure to mark out the position of the rail. We recommend that you measure this at various points across the rail to ensure that it is straight and use the drill to create the pilot holes. Using the screws provided in the kit, Attach the rail to the lintel as earlier. You can use an electric or a manual screwdriver to do this. Ensure that the head of the screw is completely flush with the rail. We now need to fit the bottom rail using the same method shown earlier. Fitting the doors. Fit the back door first. Lift the door and position the door's bottom rollers onto the bottom track. Hold the door upright and line the top guides with the top track and push the guide sliders up to encapsulate the top track. Repeat the installation procedure for the front door. Slide the doors to ensure correct operation. If the doors need to have their height adjusted, this can be done by moving the bottom roller's position along the slotted screw holes. Once happy with the door's position, use the final top screw to secure the bottom roller into place. Additional accessories such as handles are available for this system. Visit www.pchenderson.com for more information.